Welcome to Jar Your Mind. My name is Joey, and today I want to read just a couple paragraphs from Letting Go by David Hawkins. As we have seen, stress arises from within as a response to a stimulus. The stressor actually is the pressure of the suppressed and repressed emotional energies, which are a reflection of our general low-level consciousness. Thus, it is the content of our consciousness that has to be changed to eliminate and prevent stress. The commonly prescribed treatments for stress are similar to the treatments in the field of medicine. They try to fix the damage done by the disease we already have, rather than cure the internal cause of the disease. Conferences on stress, for example, routinely include the following topics. Aromatherapy, physical exercise workshop, acupuncture for stress disorders, biofeedback, chiropractic, stress regulation, nutrition, fitness and exercise profile, homeopathy, autogenic training, holistic healing, massage and bodywork, flotation tanks, dental balance, unwinding technique by use of body movements. As we can see from the above, the common approaches deal only with the consequences and resultant damage from the stress syndrome. None of them deal with the basic causes. They all involve relatively complicated and time-consuming procedures, and they do not lend themselves to on-the-spot application. As an example, let's say that we are giving a speech or lecture. We are on the spot. It is impractical to stop in the middle of a speech and do breathing exercises, go into hypnotic trance, stick ourselves with acupuncture needles, or hitch up to a biofeedback machine. How handy is a flotation tank in the middle of a family argument? Because these approaches are temporary, time-consuming, and often expensive, people try them for a short while with enthusiasm, but then their enthusiasm wears off because basically nothing has really changed. The same basic perceptions of the world persist. The same emotional pressures are there. The personality remains the same. Life circumstances have not changed. One's level of consciousness is not altered. The person's psychology is the same. Expectation continues as before, and life therefore continues as before. Without a change of consciousness, there is no real reduction of stress. Only the consequences are ameliorated. ameliorated. All of these after-the-fact techniques and treatments do help and often alleviate a given condition and bring some relief, but they leave the basis of the problem untouched. One can follow all of these techniques and yet remain the same stress-prone person. In our experience, the conscious use of the mechanism of surrender the conscious use of the mechanism of surrender is more effective in addressing chronic stress-related illnesses. Illnesses begin to heal spontaneously because the underlying emotional cause has been removed and further treatments often become unnecessary. In the uncommon, cause, in the uncommon case of persistent illness that is not cleared by the surrender of negative thoughts and feelings, Unknown factors such as karmic proclivities may be operating. In such cases, we surrender the desire to change or control our experience of life, and we await further inner discovery about the source and significance of the illness. Surrender at great depth is complete when a person has let go of needing or wanting a physical healing to occur. A state of peace about the situation is reached when all three aspects of illness, physical, mental, and spiritual, have been addressed and the final outcome or wish for recovery has been surrendered. Peace comes with total inner surrender to what is. That is Letting Go, The Pathway of Surrender by David R. Hawkins. It also reminds me of the title of Byron Katie's book, uh, Loving What Is, right? It's interesting to read that because for me, because I am in the health and fitness industry and have, and I, you know, when he listed all those things, acupressure, fitness assessments, and I mean, these are the things that, that I'm very involved in. The very core of the matter is the true change of anyone has to come from the core level. And it's not a change. It's, it's, it's actually consciousness. It's called consciousness because it's already there. It's just becoming aware of 
that you are already whole and complete. And that is consciousness. And that comes with awareness. And it comes with, with realizing that everything you need is already within you. There is no need to search outside of yourself. And that is the true pathway of surrender, is knowing and accepting what you are is perfect just as you are. And once you have that understanding and you let go of, of outside influences and circumstances in your life, and, and that is where the stress alleviates and, and you can let go of it. And, and when you can let it go, you get to your higher level of consciousness. Your consciousness begins to rise and you begin to realize that life is not about your circumstances and you do not have to be a victim to your circumstances emotionally or with your thoughts or even body, even your body. Your body can heal once you let go of the fear of the stress, physically and mentally stress, and begin to tap into the wholeness that is already within you and the perfection that is within you. But that takes meditation and it takes a calming of the mind and a calming of, your, of yourself to get to that place of letting go. And if you haven't read David Hawkins' book, Letting Go, it's one of the best books out there in this space. And if you haven't seen his map of consciousness, I'll put that in this video too, to show you that we want, like, it is our natural state to be, to be at peace, right? To have joy, to have, to have these things. Those are our natural states, but, but we have been pushed down a lot of times through stressful events and programming to get into fear and apathy and, and all of those lower levels. But you, with meditation or with just calming the mind, you can get back in touch with your higher levels of consciousness where you naturally reside. And that's why it's consciousness. It's not, it's not like, oh, I have to become a new person or I have to change or transform. And those are all great words to say that, but really it's getting back, it's getting back in line with your true inner core truth. And that is not one of stress. And that is not one of pain and suffering. It is a shift. It's just a shift back to who you truly are, no matter what your circumstances are. And you will notice when, when that consciousness shifts, your external life will shift as well. And you will start to see the true beauty of the world and, the, and that those things will start to magnetize towards you just naturally, without force, right? What is my life without thinking about that, without that emotional charge to that stress? If I could just let it go, what would my life be like? What would I be doing? What would I be feeling instead? And just sit with that. Sit with that. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.